You're looking live over Gaston County from our Dallas camera. It's an unseasonably warm November afternoon out there thanks to the warm up we've experienced. It's absolutely perfect though to take advantage and get outside. All you got to do is take it from Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane who joins us live in Mount Holly, the site of our Queen City hometown tour stop coming up at five o'clock. Tara, how are we feeling out there right now? Feeling warm, but there is a nice breeze, Annie, out here. Temperatures back up in the upper 70s, lower 80s today. And it looks like we broke that record of 79 for this day. But, yes, I'm live here ahead of our Queen City hometown show. Mount Holly in this part of Gaston County. Mount Holly is situated right along kind of what they call the River District with all the different towns in Cramerton that are here right along the banks of the Catawba River. I'm at the Tail Race Marina, which is actually the site. It used to be the site of an old water-driven textile mill. And uh, so, again, right here along the river, now they've got all the boats and the kayaks that people can rent during certain times of the year. But walking around here, and we've been talking about this for days now, noticing how those water levels are uh, the lowest they've been in many, many years. And I want to show you a look here at some of the lake levels from around the area. We'll start with Mountain Island Lake. Now, I know this particular graph, it shows a whole lot of lines, but the thing that I want you to pay attention to, this takes it out from back in 2018. So over the past five six years. Notice that blue shading at the bottom of this line graph. That is the current lake level. So very low below all the other lines. And that goes too for Lake Norman, which is even a little bit lower compared to past years. And that situation likely won't change a whole lot anytime soon with more primarily dry weather in the forecast. However, we're talking about still that rain chance coming in for later in the week and maybe a, a couple round of showers uh, heading into the weekend too. But right now in Mount Holly, We've got a nice and warm 79 degrees. Wind is light for now out of the south, about 5 to 10 miles an hour. We'll start to get a little breezy, too, starting Friday and heading into the weekend. We've got those upper 70s, lower 80s all across the board, 81 and Concord and Kannapolis down through Lancaster, Shiraz, some of the warmer spots there, and those upper 60s showing up in the mountains. It's a dry scan on radar, but I show you this because maybe you look up in the sky and some of you are noticing that little bit of a light haze, and we're talking about that wildfire smoke of course, coming in from the western part of the state. Uh, future smoke product, how much more of this could we see? We could see a little more of that drifting through. Nothing too significant into tonight and during the day tomorrow before more of those clouds and some of that rain moves in on Friday. But it's nothing that will significantly impact the air quality for us here around the Charlotte metro and even heading up into our higher elevations in the North Carolina mountains. Expected to be in the code yellow moderate zone for another day tomorrow. Now, Andrew was talking about earlier the burn ban that was extended more east now includes basically areas right along that I-77 corridor from Iredell County through Mecklenburg County west all the way up through the mountains and foothills. So no outdoor burning until further notice. Warm and dry conditions for another day tomorrow before we're tracking that cold front. That will bring us some of those scattered weekend showers. Cold front starting to drop in tomorrow, bringing the possibility of a couple of light showers into the mountains. But for the most part, we'll stay dry. And notice the record high tomorrow is 82, so we'll be awfully close to that. I'm going with about 81 degrees again. Future cast shows that by the end of the day tomorrow, just some scattered clouds around. The clouds move in more in earnest, thickening and lowering with time. So by Friday morning, we'll see more just light scattered showers, mainly in the mountains and foothills to start the day before. I know it doesn't look like anything too heavy, does it? We start to see more of the scattered showers moving over more of the Charlotte Metro, pushing off to the east later on Friday. But the thing is that front may not move very far away. So we could see with a couple more disturbances along that, maybe some of that pushing in more rain by Saturday morning. We'll hope for that because obviously it's needed. We've been saying that over and over again and maybe another round for Sunday as well. Uh, by Saturday morning though, unfortunately only talking about possibly a couple tenths or so of an inch of rain. So the weekend looking a little unsettled, scattered showers on Friday, the afternoon Saturday looking a little drier than we could see more rain moving in on Sunday. Just keep checking in with us for those timing updates if you have those outside plans. So later on tonight, temperatures fall back into the 50s. We'll have some upper 40s and say Morganton up into the mountains. Back in the low 80s, we will go tomorrow afternoon close to 70 in the high country. But behind that front and really Really starting Veterans Day, especially on Saturday, it will feel much cooler. So there we go again. The cooler air comes back in. We go from well above average to below average temperatures. Uh, they'll struggle to break out of the 50s Saturday and Sunday. And then back to some dry weather going into next week with highs in the 60s, Annie.